Lesson 12 for March 13 to 19, Desire of Nations, read by Dr. Percy Harold. Sunday, March 14, The Effects of Sin. In Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 3, the people ask God, Why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? In contrast, Isaiah 59.1 implies another question, something like, Why do we call for the Lord's hand to save us, but he does not? Why do we cry to him, but he does not hear? Isaiah answers that God is able to save and hear. His failure to do either, however, is another matter entirely. Question, read Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2. What message is being given here that answers the question in Isaiah 59, verse 1? Isaiah 59, 2. But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. God chooses to ignore his people, not because that is his desire, but because, as it says in verse 2, your iniquities have been barriers between you and your God. That's the New Revised Standard Version. Here is one of the clearest statements in the Bible regarding the effect of sin on the divine human relationship. Isaiah spends the rest of chapter 59 elaborating on this point, which is seen all through human history. Sin can destroy our relationship with the Lord and thus lead to our eternal ruin, not because sin drives God away from us, but because it drives us away from God. Question. Read Genesis chapter 3 and verse 8. How does this example reveal the principle expressed in the paragraph above? Genesis 3 and verse 8. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and Adam and Eve hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Sin is primarily a rejection of God, a turning away from Him. The sin act actually feeds upon itself in that not only is the act a turning away from God, but also the result of the act causes the sinner to turn away even more from the Lord. Sin separates us from God, not because God wouldn't reach out to the sinner. Indeed, the whole Bible is almost nothing but the account of God's reaching out to save sinners. But because sin causes us to reject his divine overtures to us. That is why it is so important that we tolerate no sin in our lives. And so to finish today... In what ways have you experienced the reality that sin causes a separation from God? What, in your own experience, is the only solution to the problem? Hi there. Thanks for watching this video on the Advent Band Ministries YouTube channel. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to be alerted whenever we upload new videos. So, until we meet him in the clouds, may God continue to bless you. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. It's supported by the Sabbath School Department and Hope Channel Australia and is rebroadcast by Christian Record Services and through podcasts at It Is Written in the United States, Hope Channel Germany and through Apple iTunes and SoundCloud. Remember, God is always faithful.